know, I, I've been in this chair for a long time, and um, in many ways it seems like second nature, but then believe it or not, there's times where um, in the middle of the night, I'd be wide awake and I'll look over at my chair and it'll seem like it just happened. So, yeah, so in some ways it's like second nature, in other ways, um, my, my desire to be back on my feet is so great that um, it almost seems strange to me to be in a chair. So maybe it has a lot to do with the fact that as a child growing up, I was involved in athletics for so long that um, that's just the way my mind is sort of wired. And um, so I, I'm not, not really comfortable being in a chair, but this is a situation that I'm in, and obviously I'm trying to make the best of it. Um, and um, so I'm just doing my best. I'll never forget the day because it was uh, September 5th of 1983. It was uh, Labor Day, and uh, I was just 20 years old. And uh, at the time, um, I was motocrossing, I was out practicing, and I was setting up my suspension. I went off of a jump and I looped it. Looping is, um, in a sense, is when the bike starts to come back on you as I'm sailing through the air. Pushed the bike away from me. I landed on the on the ground very hard, and from the compression, it uh, popped or shattered my 12th thoracic vertebrae. Bone chips went into my spinal cord, and that, of course, instantly paralyzed me. And so it was a very um, tragic day for me, a very traumatic day for me. So um, that's basically how I became paralyzed. I, I first got into um, weightlifting, bodybuilding a couple of years after my injury. Um, a friend of mine introduced me to the gym, took him up on the offer, um, instantly fell in love with it because I realized the, the great benefits from it. It was in a sense therapy for myself. Um, about five or six years into it, um, it made significant changes to my physique and my friends from the gym encouraged me to do a show and I kind of took them up on the offer eventually. and went up prepared for it, got up on stage, did my thing and and recognized um, the the adulation you got from the audience and just fell in love with being acknowledged for all your hard work and, and that was kind of the beginning of my bodybuilding career. I never in my life thought that I would become a four time national champion. Um, it was the farthest thing from my mind. When I first started competing and actually went to my first national show, I was only expecting just to do well. I wasn't expecting even to win. So to win was quite a surprise for me. If you had asked me back then if you know I could potentially be a four-time national champion, I probably would have laughed in your face and said, no way. It's, you know, it's, there's so much good competition out there. So no, never expected it. it it's, it's so it makes the uh, the prize even that much better because I never ever expected it. Decided to go for a fifth title because <laughs> I felt that tug again. Um, the last time I was on stage competing was in 2004, and I tell you, competing is like an addiction. And um, you know when you do it because it's so much work preparing for a competition, um, you know, more so than just going to the gym and training. I mean, it's, it's a part of dieting. It's about, you know, doing all the right things, and it's a long process. And so after you get done with the show, competition, you say, okay, I'm done for a while. But then after some time, you feel that, <clears throat> that, that pull again, and, and it's calling you. It's saying, I want you again. I want you to be on stage competing again. And it's getting back to the fact that um, I've always been a high achiever and I always want to challenge myself and I always want to tell myself that I'm good enough, that, uh, that I'm still capable of achieving great things for myself. So I decided to go after my fifth national title just because I was starting to feel all these, these right things again. The synergy was just right and it was calling me back and so I thought, do it now. You know, do it now before you get too old, before you can't do it. So. Um, so I'm going for it and, and my, my aim is to win it for a fifth time. If what I'm doing can inspire others to go out there and to do something positive and great about their own lives, to get them off the couch and to really take charge about their health and fitness, then I know 
that I've done something really good for them, but I've also doing something in a sense good for me too because I know that this is not just in vain, that I'm actually experiencing the fruits of my own labor, not only physically, but I'm also touching other people's lives almost in an indirect way and that puts a great smile on my face because I know that I've made a difference in the lives of others as well too.